my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. Now I'm gonna shine. Life is good. I'm doing fine. And gonna do it right and do it again. Yeah. I look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me. So gonna share it with another. I got to show, to give, let out. I want to sing and shout. Take a look and see a beautiful morning. Been in here and people are roaring with laughter. So it's a dirty show, though. Oh, well, it's clean dirt. <laughs> you have here the best Thank of the you. best. Yes. So we have many celebrities here. The Holly Madison come over here, and the Asia come over here many often, sure. and the Paris Hilton come here. Well, I'm dating myself, but it's okay. <laughs> Nobody else will. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> That's so Vegas. As a mother, you don't want to have to worry about this bill is coming, but then she needs this chemo. That's a decision you shouldn't have to make. At St. Jude, a family never sees a bill at all, not one bill. It's like the world has been lifted off of your shoulders. The treatment doesn't get any better than what you receive at St. Jude. It saved my life. It saved my daughter's life. It saved our family. Welcome to That's So Vegas. I'm your host, Christine McKellar, here in the fabulous Las Vegas Arts District. And yeah, that's Neil Diamond sitting right here with me. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Rob Garrett, the king of diamonds. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen you and it's, I missed you. I missed you yeah, too, yeah, yeah. but I'm following you on Facebook and all over social and, and media. And vice versa. And it's always good to have you here because you know I love Neil Diamond. I saw him in the round once in San Diego. That was a good time ago, 15 years or whatever. I've also had King Arison, his drummer. No, King's been a guest. No, no percussionist. Per percussionist. Excuse me, percussionist. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's been on the show. He he did a little thing. But I want to talk very about nice, you. Very nice, very nice, and very talented man. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's lovely, and you are just phenomenal. I no. want to. There's so much I want to talk about. First of all, let's just talk about you. Will be at the South Point this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. Bam! What time? Seven thirty. Great. Yeah. And it's a Christmas show, or is it? Just it, it is not a Christmas show, but uh, but it, we did throw in one holiday song. You okay. know, believe it or not, I mean, uh, Neil has uh, four Christmas albums out, and not bad for a Jewish boy from Brooklyn. I know, but you know, I love them. You know, you know, yeah. you know, they all done well. For, and you're a Jewish boy from where? Brooklyn. You, know, <laughs> I, I, you I, too. Brooklyn, I'm a Jewish boy from Brooklyn and Queens. But this has been home for most of my life. Forty-three years. Oh, amazing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're wearing it well. The heat, the oh, sun, the constant you, wear and you, tear of the elements here in the desert. When you're in my business, you have to. You know, have um, have have you? Of course. What what? How did you become? this King of Diamonds, this Neil Diamond person, because you look like him, you sound like him, your whole persona on stage, you actually morph into him. I'm not going to use a trite I love channeling. that word, morph. Morph is good. I, I, I like it better than I channeling. I, that's a word I use, channeling, morph. I, I, okay, channeling's I, I, I kind of overdone. I love that word. Yeah, so tell me, I mean, are you like spiritually connected to him? Is there some kind of seriously? <laughs> well, I don't know, spiritually. I mean, we're, we're both two Jewish boys born in New York City, so that's that thing's with the... Uh, there, there, there's there are similarities that I never knew of until way after I was performing as him. We both uh, we we both have a, a younger brother. Um, we both move from the East Coast to the West Coast at relatively young ages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, me younger. I came in at, at young at a younger time than well, you are younger than, than, than he than is he did, yeah. chronologically. And uh, and um, yeah, there are there, there there are a lot of similarities, but we don't have to get into that. As far as morphing into him, mm -hmm. uh, it was I had my own band here in Vegas for 15 years, from '80 to '95, and then I just was looking to do something else. I pretty much in '94, '95, I, I had um, done everything I thought a band leader could do with his band, and I wanted, you know, to bring it up a level. And we used to have a lot of people from the show Legends in Concert come sit in with us and, the, right. and, they, and some of them would say, Rob, you should come audition for us. You do like a great Neil Diamond, you shouldn't. And I heard it for years and I think after, uh, like I said, 15 years of being a, in a band uh, and doing lounges and clubs and so forth, um, I decided I'm gonna try something different and I auditioned for Legends as Neil Diamond. I didn't get it right away. Oh, wow. But um, I, wanted, I wanted the job here in Vegas and someone had seniority over me at that time. And um, 
so the, uh, I called a friend in Hawaii who was doing the Elvis there, and I knew him, Jonathan Von Braun, Rana, and his boss, the one that the guy that was running the Hawaii show was a guy named Paul Revere. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Not of the Raiders, I presume. Of the Raiders. Oh, seriously. Yeah. Damn. Of the Raiders. And, nice. And he was he was a owner and a, he was the director of that particular show, only that show, uh -huh. in Hawaii. And I submitted a, a video, and at first, I, you know, they said like they liked it, but you know, we don't need any. And I thought I was get thought I was getting a brush off, uh -huh. you know. But nine months later, the phone rang and it was him, and he wow. he said we saw your video and we loved it, but we weren't ready to hire at that time. We are now, and I'm coming to Vegas with the Raiders. I'd like to. Can you do, your video's great, can you audition in front of me? Right. You know, would you mind doing that? I want to see you live. Uh -huh. So we set something up where I just went with tracks, and, I, and he sat right, I mean, maybe about you know, 10 feet away from me, uh -huh. and I, it was just me. We did you have the hair going on in the whole uh, physical? You know, at, I did, but it was, at that time it was more fabricated. In other words, uh -huh. because um, I didn't know this was gonna become a career. Well. So, and, and I actually had, believe it or not, longer hair. Uh -huh. and, um, so I had a wig made at first, ah, you know, you know, right. like, uh, a, a really good one, and I had it made, and so I put the wig on, and you know, darkened the eyebrows and so forth, and I looked in the mirror, at, and I went, hmm, <laughs> I, I went, you know, it's I, there I, I, that I, look. I, That's my I, dog, I, by the way. Sorry was, about that. Or come here, our mascot. It's like who knew, you uh -huh. know? And I, there was definitely a resent, uh, you know, a close enough resemblance that I, where I felt confident I could do this, you know. I, the voice was already there. As far Interesting. As, so prior to that, you really were just doing covers of different like 80s songs yeah, cover, and this and that typical, and the other? Typical cover band, but we were very successful. It wasn't at all about Neil Diamond back then or uh -uh. originally? No. This amazes me to sit here looking at you now. So after the that particular audition, it just like, did you blossom? Did you love what you saw? I, well, I mean... I mean, it must have. Getting, getting back to the band... I did a lot of his stuff in my band because he was always one of my musical idols. Um, he, he was up the top of the list, like with Elvis and the Beatles. Yes. And um, so uh, I, I was in training without even knowing about it, but of course I wasn't obligated to look like him or dress like him and so forth. Wow. You know, I, I, I was just singing his songs. And when I would sing songs, I would try to make them sound... I, I know I had the ability to make it sound like him to a certain extent. Right. Now, when I, when Paul gave me the job, and he did, and it was supposed to be temporary, it was supposed to be for three months at first, he said, do you want to come to Hawaii? And Yeah, you know, no, I, I, let I me said, think about it. Yeah, right, that's exactly how <laughs> I was, let me think about oh, it. Okay. For a second. And I said, all right, I, okay, I can do that. <laughs> and, um, and I went, and three months turned into three years. Wow. So when I got that job, and now I knew that my, that it was, it was required of me to be Neil Diamond, mm -hmm. and a plus, I, I wanted to make him proud. He was—he became my mentor, you know. Right. And he took care of me and watched over me and gave me advice and so forth. And I listened to everything he said. Oh, almost everything he said. <laughs> and and and, um, um, and I did. I, I felt an obligation because this guy was giving me a break, you right? Know? And he didn't have to because I had no experiences as far as being an impersonator. Right. And and I I got videos and I and I literally set out to study Neil Diamond, and 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 I compare it to the way a scientist would study the atom. Oh, you know, interesting. You know, you know, Down right. to every level. Right. right. You, you know, cutting through because you've really got. It's a, it, it is amazing. It, it is this morph, morphosis into... When you, and into, then when you do it long do enough... Do you feel it when you walk on stage? I mean, we're sitting here chatting. Yes, you do look like Neil Diamond. Mm -hmm. I know that you are the king of diamonds, but I also know you drop. But when I see you on stage, it's this whole different... It's like this whole mantle falls over it, it is a total different thing because, I mean, right now we're talking to me, uh, when we're talking to each other, and, and obviously... Uh, I don't know how zoned in you are to Neil Diamond's personality, but but we have, we have different personalities, uh -huh, you know? right. and uh, and um, but when I hit the stage, whatever personality I have, the evaporates, leads, you know, yep. leaves, uh -huh. and I become him, but during a certain era of his performance life, uh -huh. you know, like the late seventies, early eighties. Yeah, which was, was the most popular, that. I would think. Yeah. That was probably the and, the and that is the Neil Diamond the, that the general public. When you say Neil Diamond, they don't necessarily think of today's Neil Diamond with you know with the go with the beard and, right. and the gray hair. Well, he's hair. more mature, right. you know, yeah. and he had to. And he looks great as some. Right. 
a few months ago at the LA Forum. Has he seen your show? Do you know? He, he has not. He has not physically come to my show. But he has yeah. probably seen I'm it. Big, I'm, 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 I'm guess, I know he knows all about me because at one time, um, for a number of years, I had his dr his drummer's daughter, and his drummer's still with him. It's a famous drummer uh -huh. named Ron Tutt, who was also Elvis's drummer. Oh wow! Same, same guy. Gosh. You know? So and, and his daughter was in my band. So I know and and his, the, the uh, Alicia that was her name. Uh, a father, Ron, came to see us so and yeah. shared it with Neil. So I know oh, Neil. Sure. I know Neil's familiar He's with me. Got to be flattered, you know. I, I hope. Mean, I think so. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. I have to give a shout out to my sponsor before we go Absolutely. to break, and then we'll come back. We have a lot to talk about. Again, not just your show at the South Point. You have a couple other shows going up. December is a really busy month for you because you're a good Jewish boy from the from the Bronx, right? No, well, <laughs> oh no, close enough. Co Queens, right? Yeah. Clue me in. Brooklyn, Queens. <laughs> Brooklyn, yeah. Queens. Okay, don't go away. I want to give a quick shout out to the Red Roof Inn, my sponsor. They're on Paradise across from the Hard Rock Hotel. They are close to the Strip in the airport. And they're pet friendlies. I'll be right back. Pet friendlies? That's <laughs> multiples. I guess that's dogs and cats. I'll be right back with Rob Garrett, a.k.a. the King of Diamonds. Don't go away. Well, hey there, welcome to That's So Vegas. This is our new studio in the famous Las Vegas Arts District, downtown Las Vegas. We're here to rock your world. And I was gonna ask you how it felt to be breaking good here at the Bellagio for oh, the National I Center. What you did. Your last CD was My Secret Life. I wanted to ask you what your secrets were. <laughs> Tune in and turn on with us in downtown Las Vegas. This is where the action is, and that's so Vegas. Welcome back to That's So Vegas. I'm your host, Christine McKellar. I'm here with the King of Diamonds, Rob Garrett. Welcome back. That was a whole, like, two-minute break there. Yeah. <laughs> and we were, the we were on a roll talking about, you know, how really I would have thought that your whole life you grew up wanting to be Neil Diamond or the tribute to him, and yet it really was just a career move that you made that seemed auspicious at the time via um, Paul Revere. Mm -hmm. And now after we were just saying on break, which your Facebook friends know, but our viewers don't know, that you actually do feel like, we talked about you morph onto stage, you dropped the Rob Garrett step on stage, but Once I hit the stage. over time, you've really become to develop into, say it, Neil Diamond. <laughs> I, it, you it, really, you look like him. Yeah, it just, again, I, I feel, uh, as I got older, uh -huh. it just morphed, and I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm, I can't question it, I don't know if I've done it mentally, or it's just, right. you know, God's, you know, progress with me, but mm -hmm. it, it, as, as I get older, I tend to, Start looking more like him. So this is really where you want to be. This is wonderful Except to be able I have to say. a lot more hair. Your hair is yeah, wonderful. Well, it really is. He doesn't have this anymore. I'm sitting there looking at it. Right. And uh, but this is really truly where you feel you were destined to be. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Now I do. And in the last, you want to hear something funny, Christine? Yeah, I'd love to hear. When it. I when I when, when I first was approaching doing this, trying to make the decision: Do I want to go from band guy to be an impersonator? Tribute artists, Thank you know, you. and um, <laughs> and um, uh, I had to think about it. I, I actually sat there thinking, I don't know if I want to. As much as I love Neil Diamond, I don't know if it's going to make me happy doing one person because I, I love singing Elvis songs and uh -huh. and I love singing a Bruce Springsteen song or a Garth Brooks song or a Dion song, mm -hmm. you know, or Billy Idol song. I mean, I, I mean, I I, I did all oh. or ZZ Top song, you know, I did all those guys, but. Elvis, Neil Diamond, Beatles were my were my idols. So, okay. um, I had to think about it, and it, at first it, it was really a financial move, mm -hmm. you know, because I knew the, the tribute acts made considerably more than your typical band guy. Right, the lounges know? back and in I the love day. It, you know, and and of course I loved his music. You know, to this day, I mean, I I, I could listen to that guy twenty four hours, twenty four seven. Right. You know, he, the, the, he's one, one of the most phenomenal talents, and um, but I, I had to make the decision what I wanted to do. So I was questioning it. Uh -huh. I was really questioning, uh -huh. 
you know, if I should do this. Right. And not knowing, and I also questioned, well, in 95, I said, is he still going to be popular 10 years from now? Well, look, now we're in 2017, and he's... he's He's one. Of, he's still. A, more, he's more popular than he ever was. <laughs> what do you think you he know? feels about the Sweet Caroline thing? That's become a standard on any like cruise ship, or when you're line dancing, or when you're drinking, or I, any tribute show, any show. I say from the stay. You know, I, when it comes to Sweet Caroline, I, I'm going to say, and, and I think I'm pretty much on, you know on this. You know, right about this. He never saw that coming. <laughs> right, right, okay. okay, when he wrote that. He never saw no, what's ballad. happened today with that song, you know, starting out with Fenway Park and everything and, and then rolling over to stadiums and, right. and, and, and rolling over to people in their 20s and, and karaoke bars. He never saw that coming. <laughs> he wrote it so. and it became a huge hit. But did he know when he, at that time it was going to become like the biggest sing along. And just like you never knew that you would actually be come to a, come to a place where this is actually where you're settled into this. So oh, yeah. Yeah, and you know, not only do you perform all over the valley here and everybody's so happy to it. We were talking earlier I think on the break which viewers wouldn't know but Facebook people would. That uh where I first saw you, I can't remember was it well, you've been at Tommy Wind, you've had residencies all throughout, mm. you know, and now you're at South Point this weekend, and that, I'm sure you'll be kinda back. That's kind of like home for me. And yeah. then you have another gig out uh, at Texas Station or something, but that's for uh -huh. like, uh, is December, that just... it's the same. It's the same day as Toys for Tots, so I, I've got oh. a double on, I, oh, I've got yeah. a double on, on and that. And what date is that? December 16th. Okay, so, yeah. And it's, and it, and it's like a early evening so I can do both of them. The thing is, the thing at Texas Station is just for their high, their high rollers and their players, uh -huh. so they're not letting the public in. Right. And, and That's going to be a kind of intimate gathering. And then Westgate, we were talking about the Toys for Tots thing. Tell us viewers a little bit about that. Toys for Tots um, um, has been going for nine years uh, through um, LJ Harness is the marketing director for Cadillac. Uh, now he's at Finley, Finley Cadillac. They're the sponsor. And uh, it's it's five years for me, uh -huh. you know. Uh, and are you the MC host or? Oh no, 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 I'm the closing no. act. Oh, you know, that's great! Good. I'm the closing act because I'm the one with America. Ah. <laughs> right? I'm the one that has that song. Yes. So, so it's beca powerful too. Because I've seen you do you're, 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 it. That's a song that's it's almost timeless. impossible to top. Right. And and plus the the it's sponsored also. It's in conjunction with the U.S. Marine Corps. Very nice. You know, the, the, the Vegas Marine. And so, the beneficiaries, of course, are the children. And so guests um, bring the a gift. The beneficiaries are the children. And this is for, for those of you not familiar with uh, Toys for Tots. Thanks. These are for <laughs> the um, um, unfortunate children. You know, I have a daughter, and mm -hmm. she's been, she's she's done all right by me for 26 years with Christmas. Right. Uh -huh. And But there, there are a lot of fortunate, unfortunate um, children, children out there that don't have a lot or nothing when it comes to Christmas, and that's what Toys or Tots are all about. Yeah, it's providing great. gifts. Another timeless yeah. organization. That, You're a that, timeless. That is right. Pro uh, providing. Now, gifts. is this open to the public, or how do open, it's people? A, it's open to the public, and um, the, the, pretty much as long as there are tickets available, anyone can get a ticket. Okay, it's open to the public. All, it's just yours for the asking. However, uh -huh. <laughs> there, there's, there, there is some responsibility that right. comes with each that. Each individual, each, not couple, each not, individual. Thank you. Not couple. Everyone that gets a ticket is obligated not, you know, to, to give, to either write a check or bring in an unwrapped, unwrapped gift worth at least, and I say at least, Twenty dollars. Uh, so with that, is there an age uh, limit on the gifts? Because uh, so what, it could well, it's be... for kids. Okay, so, you know, so you know, anywhere from toddler to say yeah, to teen, teenager, you know, early teen, teenagers. Right. Yeah. yeah, I would say you know toddler to fifteen, yeah. sixteen. Yeah. Right, because yeah. you're still a child at heart. I mean, I'm still yeah, a child yeah, at heart yeah, when yeah. it comes to Christmas. Yeah. Um, and um, where do they get the tickets? Online um, or is there a toys for tots? You can bring. When you, when you bring your, you, there's different ways to get your tickets. You can bring your, your gifts to either Finley Cadillac, and that's way out at the Autorama in Henderson, uh -huh. or you can bring them to Cadillac of Las Vegas, which is on the west side, right. on Sahara. Um, or you can, and, and when you bring your gift, they'll give you a ticket. And 
You can also, if you want to chance it, you can bring it the day of the show. Oh, I see. And you'll get a ticket, and you get get a ticket. Dang. But it, it's it's the cool thing is that it's it's in the international showroom at the Westgate, uh -huh. which, and, and I've been there before with with uh, Toys R Tots, mm -hmm. but that is that stage is of course even though it's been renovated and changed, yeah. but it's the one Elvis played on. I know it. It's yeah. amazing what's happened to that property. And I saw him. And, the, I saw him in there eighteen times. Holy so, cow! You so, were a fan. I yeah, never uh, saw him, but that I saw, was my. Dad. I saw him twenty three to total. Five in New York and 18 in that room. Amazing. So for me to step on that stage, this be... will be like my third time. Oh, I can just see Elvis will be in the house. Yeah, yeah. We have to take another break. That's okay. a bye boy because we're talking about all kinds of fun things. Yeah. Quick shout out to the Red Roof Inn. Free continental breakfast and Wi-Fi for guests, but Wi-Fi is free anywhere anyway. Pet friendly, close to the Strip and Airport. Don't go away. I'll be back with Rob Garrett. We're going to talk a little bit more about Neil and the Toys for yeah. Tots. See you in just a minute. It's pretty amazing when you consider that seven years ago, we didn't have the treatments we have now. We cure 80% of children with cancer. If you think about that, I mean, go back 50 years, we were curing 20 to 30%. This is the miracle story of modern medicine. We understand what makes this cancer tick. And of course, without donors from around the world, this just couldn't happen. And there's one thing we're focused on here at St. Jude, and that's beating this thing. Welcome back to That's So Vegas. I'm your host, Christina Keller. I feel lyric here with Rob Garrett, who's also known as the King of Diamonds, and I don't have to even tell viewers who just tuned in who you're the king of. You're the king of Neil Diamond. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I don't know if he has a king. You know, I guess he's the king, right? He is a king, right, right. but you know, you certainly carry his torch well he, for him. And I, you're, I'm sure that he has probably seen some videos and that he's, he's I'm sure flattered. he has, I'm sure he has too. And the good, the good news is I've been do, doing it for 23 years. And voted number one. And, 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 and he hasn't made any attempts to stop me. So no. That, so that's a good sign. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, he just got off another world tour. Can you believe that? I do believe, not only do I believe it, but the, the, the last date of his U.S. tour, I went, he bypassed Vegas. I know, I talked but, about that with King. For shame, shame on you. Yeah, shame. right. You know, it's Las yeah. Vegas. The Five shame you know, even. You know, I, I, I expect, you know, I thought for sure he would go to T-Mobile because he hasn't been there yet. Right. He just bypassed, he went Bam. right past well, Vegas. Well, he must have his reasons. And I saw him on his last night um, of the U.S. tour at the L.A. Forum. Mm -hmm. And he had, look, the guy's 76 years old. Wow. And he's in the top 10. Uh, he, he is in the top 10 of biggest selling artists of all time. Yeah, yeah. And... He, he did two nights at the L.A. Forum, and each night sold out 19,000 people. I have no yeah. doubt. Yeah. I kept bugging King, Arison, his percussionist. King was on the show. He actually did some bongo work here. It was fabulous. Well, he, you know. he, there aren't too oh, amazing, there, man. There aren't too many guys that can touch I know. King. I was Arison. begging for a backstage pass. Of course, my percussionist can... is pretty good. Of LJ. course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Here's to L.J., right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, do you look like this every day? Like, do you roll out of bed looking like this? And the reason I ask that is I'm wondering, like, when you go to the grocery store or you walk around, do people come up to you and say, hey, sweet Caroline, <laughs> well, or <laughs> sing that song that, that, again? That, or... that, 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 that happens sometimes. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It, it happens about 50% of the time where they uh -huh. look at you and go, Neil, Neil Diamond. You know, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, I, or, so, yeah. That's it, so it, Vegas. It, it, it does happen. Elvis and, here, Neil there, and, you, know, you know. And, I mean, I, I, do I wake up looking like this? I mean, if, if, I, if I run a brush through my hair, it automatically does what it does. Right. You know, when, you do, like when you're doing your hair like this for 23 years, uh -huh. it pretty it much, it's go. trained, you know. Uh -huh. um, and, and, and I'm not the kind of guy, like, I hate hats, so I won't put a hat on. Right. You know. Um, Why would you cover that hair? That but, would just I, be ridiculous. I feel this, right. I don't, I don't put a hat on. And um, I, I, I feel every time I... Just an obligation that every time I step of the house, step out of the house, that I'm obligated to. I don't. I don't go full drag, but I'm uh -huh. obligated to a certain extent to look like them. And, and, to keep and it besides, clean. it's also promotion for me. Right, and you want to you know? keep it clean and on, you know, like you, you know, said, on our. So you want people to look at you and say, Neil, because they're going to say, Hey, you know, do you work anywhere? Do you play anywhere? Yes, and so forth. And, of course, without those cards and all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, I just happen to have a. 
you know, a pretty good resemblance to my character. And, yes, you do. You know, you know w without having to go too much into fabrication. Right. And uh, I, I mean, a natural resemblance to my character. So I take advantage of so it. So on that mm -hmm. vein of, of thought, what do you do for fun? I, and I like to ask this questions of certain entertainers. I mean, especially here in Las Vegas. Do you I'm, hike? Do you play tennis? Do you bowl? What do you do to unwind? Or uh, you, know, you know, my fun is when I'm not working, I have a lot of friends in this town that are musicians that I, and remember I've, I've been performing for 36 years right. so I, 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 there are certain places I go to to watch my friends p perform you know and um, solicit different restaurants or bars or whatever and, mm -hmm. and support them right. and, a, and a lot of them support me as well right. so so that, that that's that's my fun mm -hmm. you know so I'm constantly on the go in, in, in the circle of entertainment. Uh -huh. Um, and it is amazing about this city, I have to say it, because I've heard it time and time again from a great number of guests, how supportive the industry that you guys are of each other. There isn't that backstabbing animosity. I mean, there's some oh, no, there competitive... Is. <laughs> <laughs> there, okay, well, you're the there, exception there, to the rule, there, I just found me, out. Believe there, there, there definitely is. There oh, definitely well. is, yeah. Yeah, but most of you do support each other, so... You know, the, the ones that are friends, uh -huh. you know, that when you're your peeps, yep. we support each other, right. you know. And speaking of support, because this is our short segment, we're going to have to fly. Ah. But everybody really need to come out and support you at the South Point, December 1st and 2nd. And also support our children here in Las Vegas, December 16th, with Toys for Tots at the West Gate. And you're going to wrap it all up with a rousing America. And you'll be there, you know, mingling with people and stuff. I get so. to America at the end. Of and there are other things coming up. With the Marines behind me and, and, yeah. and a full orchestra with Fem like a female uh, string section. God, it's going to be lovely. Yeah. I get goosebumps thinking about it. David Perico. And musical. more of this for yeah. those who missed parts of the show. And the information is listed on your website. And also, mm -hmm. is there a Toys for Tot website? We'll scroll that at the bottom of the screen. Um, yeah, there is, but... But your website. You want to go to my website or L.J. Harness's website. Okay. And or, your website again, just to verbalize it for well, the actually, audience. Well, actually, we said website, not my website, my Facebook page. Okay, yeah, Facebook. Yeah. So my just, Facebook page will tell you all about uh, Toys for Tots. Okay, and is uh, that the King of Diamonds or? Uh, I'm so easy to find. Uh, <laughs> Rob, just write Rob Garrett Neil Diamond on Facebook. Uh huh. And, 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 and there you it'll, are. It'll come. It'll we come love right social up. media. No, you know. I, on that I, note. I, thank you, social media. <laughs> yeah, yes. and, and again, as you said, South Point, two shows this yes. Friday and Saturday at 7:30. Right. And thank you for being a guest again. This is our second go around in two years, and I'm so happy. And it's always you, a delight. Thank you for accommodating me with such short notice. I know, she, but the holidays, did. I yeah. really did. You she, know, with a lot did. going on. Yeah. Things got a little uh, off kelter with the incident in October. You know, people were rescheduling things, and there was some shuffling going on here that people and might not be. And you made this happen. Out. You said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make, make this I happen. I did, yeah, yes. Did. And thanks to my team for coming in and doing all this for yes, me, too. Because yes. without them, of course, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of a camera. Now we'd be, we'd be standing, <laughs> you know, talking and to... And next week, we have uh, Kelly Clinton Holmes. She's ah, our special I, guest. I, I She'll be her. doing things for the Arthritis Foundation, so... Yeah. A bootlegger you know, every Monday. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I just gave, just gave you a free plug. Yeah, we <laughs> love you, Kelly. It's so Vegas. Till <laughs> next week. Gave you a free plug. <laughs> I'm Christine no, no, McKellar, no. your host of That's So Vegas TV. Say bye-bye and see you around town. Keller with this week's latest Vegas entertainment highlights. Turning downtown into cowboy town, the Golden Nugget will welcome country all-stars December 7th through the 15th for National Finals Rodeo 2017. All concerts will be held in the showroom following the rodeo at 10 p.m. each night. Ticket starts at $49. The impressive lineup includes John Michael Montgomery December 7th, Brenda Lee December 8th, Pam Antillas and Lori Morgan December 9th, Charlie Daniels Band, December 10th, Ronnie Millsap, December 11th, Tanya Tucker, December 12th, Lone Star, December 13th, Clint Black, December 14th, and Jamie Johnson, December 15th. Now that's a rodeo. Grammy Award winner Chip Davis will bring Mannheim Steamroller Christmas classics and best loved hits from his Fresh Air series to the Orleans Arena, excuse me, Arena on Friday, December 1 at 7.30 p.m. The show, directed and co-produced by Davis, features Mannheim Steamroller Classics, along with multimedia effects in an intimate setting. Tickets start at $39. 
The opening of Holiday at the Park will be Thursday, November 30 in the Toshiba Plaza with the 80-foot tree lighting ceremony at 5.30 p.m. The event will feature performances by the Mirage's newest headliner, Matt Ghost, and the Las Vegas Academy Choir. The MC will be in arena host for the Vegas Golden Knights, Mark Shunnock. The opening includes complimentary ice skating, 4 to 10 p.m., a meet and greet with Santa, hot chocolate, and tasty treats throughout. Complimentary parking, oh whoa, will be available from 4 to 8 p.m. at the New York, New York, and Monte Carlo Self Park Garages for guests attending the event. That's worth going to just for itself. <laughs> a little blessing on the parking there. For the holiday season through January 2nd, the ultimate 4D experience at Excalibur has added the Polar Express 4D experience. The movies are shown in 3D and the added fourth dimension is the special effect theater. For more information on these events and more, please visit VegasOnlyEntertainment.com. Happy holidays. I'll see you again next week because that's so Vegas. One, two, three, four, get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. Nine, gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing five, ten, gonna do it right and do it again. Yeah.